Hey, thanks for uh, being here, everyone. Just a hell of a super regional opening game. I mean, it was, uh, I don't think it could have gotten any better. Um, twists and turns, ups and downs. I mean, you name it, great crowd. So we're just happy to get away with uh, the win in game number one. And I think it showed a lot of um, grit and resiliency by our team. All right, so the question off to Robert. Coach, um, could you talk about the grit you saw from Montana in the circle? Obviously, it wasn't a perfect game from her, but when she needed to get the outs quickly, she did, and then um, it was good enough to beat Kentucky today. And, you know, and usually she comes back, you know, after a home run, she shuts them down. And, uh, you know, credit their kid for the two. Um, but, you know, we, we uh, took our chances at the end. Um, but she came back, made a great pitch to the last kid. Um, she's just very, very gritty. And, you know, we went through all kinds of crap at the beginning of the year, at the middle of the year, and all those um, adverse situations are coming back to help us now because we know how to handle that. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, you touched on it, the, uh, the decision to walk uh, the leadoff batter there and the seventh. Can you take us through that thought process? Yeah, I mean, she's – I mean, I give her a ton of credit. You know, she's one of the best kids in the country. and. Um, you know, we've seen her for shit, five games now, and um, I think she lined the center the time before, and she got a hit and a strikeout. And uh, just the stats said otherwise to to Walker. And um, you know, we went with the basically the numbers and the, the lesser two evils. And the the other young lady also is very good, so it's not like um, you know we were going to pitch to somebody that's hitting a hundred. She had gotten a hit. And I think the first RBI. Um, so it was just, you know, stats. All right, go ahead, Edwin. Uh, yeah, how important was it for Bailey to get that hit in the fourth after uh, Autumn had retired, I guess, 10 straight batters? Yeah, I mean, she had a perfect game and, you know, she was cruising. Uh, we weren't swinging at the greatest pitches and, you know, credit to her. But I think when uh, Bailey – got the hit. I think it just kind of relaxed everybody. I think we got five in that inning after that. And of course the big one was KB's triple. Uh, but I think it just kind of like everybody let out a big sigh of relief. Okay. We got our first hit. Now let's go to work. And, um, you know, five hits in an inning. It, it was a great inning for our offense for sure. Good. Brett. Hey coach, congrats on the win. You touched on it earlier. Very gritty win. Uh, gritty game all along. Stouts wasn't great. She, uh, Kentucky batters really know how to work her. She was up to 134 pitches in the game. Uh, first off, how is she feeling? And second off, uh, at this point in the season, it's a win or win, and uh, you can just take what you get at this point. Yeah, I mean, definitely it's uh, great to get the first one. Um, that's number one. Um, I think I didn't really ask her how she felt, but, you know, she had enough gas left to finish it. Um, she was still throwing hard at the end. You know, I kept looking up and it was 68 to 72 consistently. Um, you know, she's just a gritty kid and um, really glad she wears crimson for sure. Go ahead, Katie. Hey, Coach, you always talk about how your hitting is contagious when you get one. Talk about how that kind of helps in the fourth inning to get your runners on with speed and everything like that. Now that was huge, especially with Bailey starting it. And then I think right after that, Tao, you know, she got a dribbler with, I believe, two strikes, beat it out. Jenna hit a rocket up the middle, um, you know, couldn't score anybody on that. She hit it so hard. And then KB's triple cleared the bases. And then the big, another big hit that inning was Maddie Morgan's two out RBI to right field. Uh, not, that was the winning margin. So that was a big, big hit. Um, at the time, maybe didn't people didn't think that, but um, obviously that was the difference in the game. Go to Kitty Window. Coach, you often talk about how the last three outs are the hardest to get. How much more is the pressure ramped up in the postseason to get those last three outs? Well, Nathan and I were just saying that I think I had three tums before the game, and he needs uh, a pack of tums right now. So, um, you know, when when you face especially SEC, which, you know, they know us, we know them. It just ramps it up a little more, I think. And the crowd was awesome. I mean, the whole atmosphere was nail-biter throughout. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to need some time after this one. Go ahead, Drew. Yeah, Coach, along those same lines, I know you talk about the atmosphere here all the time, but it doesn't get much more intense than bases loaded, two outs in the seventh inning. Can you just take us into that moment? What was it like on the field? Well, I, KB probably answer more on the field. Um, it's just, you know, obviously when you make a decision, you got to live with it and you make the decision and then, you know, Montana does the rest. Um, but, you know, your, your stomach is in knots for sure. Mine was, um, you know, when you think of all these scenarios and I, I try to think ahead, like the ball is coming to me. Um, but I think the defense does that too. Like, okay, if the ball comes to me and what do I do with it? And then it becomes full count, which is even worse with two outs because everybody can take off. And then it's, then it's like, oh shit, there's even more action going on because they're running on the pitch. So that made it even worse. If there was even a, a worst case scenario, that was it. But, um, you know, it's just one of those barn burners of college softball. It was just a, a great game. I'll give Robert the last question here. Coach, just by not scoring in the final two innings, you guys got people on base and you guys really raised the pitch count of Humes. How important was um, it to have Humes throw some more pitches to kind of tire out as you might, or you will likely face her in the um, final game or maybe final two games? Well, I was, yeah, we were definitely hoping to put a couple more runs up there. I thought we were going to, we had a couple good at bats and I think uh, maybe Johnson got another hit. And then, you know, um, credit to uh, Johnson and, um, Spangler, right fielder, they both both made just great plays on Taylor Clark's ball, and then KB hit another one. So one of them would have scored a run, one of them would have been a triple, and you know they catch it against the wall. Um, so you know it was great shots by our batters, but they made great plays. So we, I thought we did make pretty good contact throughout the game. Uh, just the one negative was the nine strikeouts, and we just need to we need to put the ball in play more more tomorrow and um, just make them work on defense. All right, we'll move on to uh, KB Sides. Hey, thanks a lot. All right, and we'll start with Edwin. Hey KB, uh, Murph talked a little bit about uh, when Bailey got that hit, it kind of relaxed y'all a little bit. Were y'all pressing a little bit? Uh, with Autumn on the, in the circle? And did y'all finally start uh, just relaxing after that? Um, I don't think it was necessarily pressing. It probably could have been just a little bit of nerves. I'm not really sure. Um, I never doubted us, but I knew. And honestly, I thought Mac was going to do it as soon as she got up there, you know, second time around. But when Bailey got up there and got that hit, I knew we were going to score. Like, I honestly thought three or four that inning, and I think we did. I'm not really – yeah, four. So, I mean, that's exactly what I thought. I knew second time around, that's exactly what we were going to do. And nobody better than Bailey to – she hit that ball hard. And I know as soon as she hit it, I probably knocked some wind out of Hume. So, that's exactly what we needed to start that inning. All right, go ahead, Kitty Wyndham. KB, just kind of take us through that at bat with the bases loaded with one out. Uh, what, would, what were you looking for and then what you get to drive that ball to center? Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure I probably scared people after the first ball I swung out. I was probably a foot outside, but, um, my bets are always on me when I'm in the box, regardless of if anything's fallen my way this year, which it hasn't a lot. So I knew I just wanted to see something fat and hit it. And I think I got the hit and run signal and I could have done a backflip, but I missed it obviously, but I was so excited. But the last one, it's kind of, she kind of left it a little bit fat, but I don't think I would have done that without Kaylee Tao. She came up to me before and was like, you know, I don't want anybody else in the box but you right here. So I all credit to her for that to keep me up because I was a little bit nervous, but I think that just really relaxed me a lot. I'm going to Michael. Yeah, what was the tension like on the field? Uh, the final at bat, uh, bases loaded, three, two count. What was that like? I knew Tanner was going to strike her out on it. I don't know. I just, I always have confidence in Montana. I don't care if she's down three and oh, I think she's going to strike everybody out. That's just <laughs> how it is. I know it was very, um, we had a couple calls that were unfair that in my opinion, which doesn't matter, but I thought they swung and I think one ended up being a home run, which I feel like that always happens when they should have been struck out. They hit a home run. It happens all the time. And then same with the other girl, I think Riley was her name. She dribbled one Tana and, 
somehow got on, but I knew Tana was going to come through big right there. And that's just who she is. And she brings the fire. And regardless if somebody hit two home runs off of her, I don't expect it to happen ever again. All right, go to Robert. Hey, KB, um, congrats on the win. Could you talk about if you and the rest of the offense fed off of the crowd in that fourth inning and kind of threw out the rest of the game? Oh, yeah, our crowd is incredible. That's just – I remember the first game of the SEC tournament, I was like, there's no way this is just 50% because they were just really bringing the energy. And then this weekend, it's just incredible because I know they love it so much. And I definitely think um, we brought our energy up a little bit in the dugout too in the fourth inning. But as soon as Bailey – got that hit. It's like the whole stadium kind of just stood up with her. And especially the seventh inning, I definitely think like, I couldn't imagine coming to this stadium and playing here for the first or second or even third time, because I know if I didn't play at Alabama, there's no way I think I'd be able to get in the box and swing the bat. Cause it's honestly so loud. And if you're not used to it, I could not imagine how it feels to get in the box with 4,000 people in the stands.